And the 4th of July holiday is right around the corner and you might be already thinking about all the delicious food you'll be tossing on the grill. But before you do that, you will want to check in on everything to make sure you and your family are safe. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis is out live by our very own KTSM grill and she talked to El Paso fire officials who have some tips. Hi there, Tani. Hey there, Carla. And as these temperatures get warmer here in the borderland, more people are choosing to grill outside and with especially with the 4th of July holidays so close here in the borderland. And however, if grilling is on your agenda with your family, the El Paso Fire Department says you need to create a safety perimeter. Now the safety zone for a grill needs to be at least three feet of space. This is to protect kids and pets so that they do not accidentally hurt themselves either by touching the grill or spilling something hot and end up with severe burns. The fire department says the grill also needs to be away from walls or any trees that can catch on fire. One final tip is to not use fire starters that will end up causing more damage if used incorrectly. There's some fuels out there that people can use to, to uh, start a fire quicker, but we're asking people to use them before they set it on. Once the fire is already on, do not shoot the, the, the flammables into the fire. It can come back to you, it can cause an explosion, it can cause severe injuries, and it can cause, uh, as I said, uh, a briefly fire. Duenia says you also need to clean your grill in between the times that you use it so as not to cause a dangerous grease fire. And we'll have more tips on how to keep yourself safe while grilling, including what you should keep nearby. I'm Tani Davis. Back to you, Carla.